Today we are going to talk about something that I am practicing every single day, and that is how to be more productive and how to improve your overall productivity when you're doing something. Believe it or not, when I was younger, I was very bad at being productive, structured, uh, you name it. I think my first job, I actually slept over a lot and didn't arrive on time and I mistreated that opportunity so much. So now that I look back at it, I can't even believe that I did the way that I did and I really wish that I was caring for it a lot more. But before we begin, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the channel. We hope that you're going to enjoy this video and it's been a long time since uh, I recorded one of these videos, but I thought that this would be a perfect fit here on the main channel because this has a better reach. Maybe it can help you improve your overall productivity as a freelancer, filmmaker, whatever it is that you do. And uh, if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes of things, head over to my vlog channel, which is more of like a day of Peter Lindgren. And uh, if you like vlogs, that is definitely the place to go. So I'm gonna drop a link down below where you can go there and sign up. Ever since I started with bodybuilding, one of the most important things that I did was setting a long-term goal. And I think that this applies for anything that you want to achieve. It doesn't really matter if it's career-wise or if it's personality-wise or if it's hobby-wise. Having a long-term goal so that you can focus on that when things are not going the way that you want to is gonna be a very good thing to have. And this is something that will help you to improve your overall motivation of actually being productive or trying to achieve the small goals that will lead you to the main goal. And for example, when I started my YouTube channel, one of the main goals that I had was to be able to live from making YouTube videos. And that kind of spurred me to always keep going and make the videos that I enjoyed making to be able to achieve that goal. Didn't really have any like set date where I wanted it to be perfected or where I wanted it to be finalized, but just having that goal is something that is very important. But it's not only important to have a long-term goal, it's also very important to have short-term goals so that you can check that off on your way towards the long-term goal. And the second thing that I want to talk about is to use your phone less. The less you use your phone, the more productive you are going to be. I'm going to give you an example at home where I did something that I did not like, which was emptying the dishwasher and then loading the dishwasher. And usually what I did a couple of years ago was that I started emptying the dishwasher. Then I picked up my phone, scrolled through Instagram, and then I continued. And that entire process took me around like 35 to 40 minutes just to empty and load the dishwasher. When I don't use my phone, it takes me approximately six and a half minutes, which is mind blowing considering the amount of time that you can actually save from not using your phone. Now, when I try to do something, it doesn't matter if I'm recording a YouTube video or if I'm cleaning at home, cleaning here in the studio, I always try to put my phone away from me so that when I start doing something, I kind of forget that the phone is there, so it's not a distraction. And once you start doing this, you're also gonna get into the habit of continuing to do stuff that will make you productive. And even though I think that it's a great tool, for example, right now, when I'm reading the bullet points that I've written down for this video, it is also a very, very time-consuming device. The next thing is using the right tool for the job. For example, right now, the right tool for my job is an iPhone or maybe an iPad or something similar so I can read the bullet points and record this video. If you think about it, having the right tool for the right job is so much more than just going out there and buying the most expensive camera because not everyone can afford an expensive camera to record their videos on. In my opinion, for example, when I built the studio, one of the things that I invested in was power tools and high quality power tools because I knew if I had the right tools, then it would be quicker, I would be way more productive, and it would be easier for me to actually get the money back that I've invested into the power tools. Even though the initial investment of the right tool might be high, it's probably gonna save you a lot of money in the long run if you have the right tool for the job. I can just see it as my computer. For example, I'm running a MacBook Pro, 2020 edition, Intel Core i9, I think, with 64 gigabytes of ROM, and that computer has saved me so much time 
so that the money that I spent, which was around $5,000, has actually been saved up because of the time that I've saved from using that device. And when you are doing something, make sure that you finish what you start. This might sound easy, but it's actually not. And I am very bad at doing this, or I was. I, I'm getting better, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but for example, when I'm here in the studio, I usually get an idea and then I act upon that idea and finish that as soon as I can. And once you do that, it's very fun to just move on to the next thing. But something that I tend to forget is to clean up after myself or finish the idea and then clean up and then make sure that everything that you started is finished. Because when you finish up something, it feels a lot better when everything is back in its original place where you initially took it from. And then once you finish the actual edit of the video or whatever it might be that you're doing, you're gonna feel much better because you don't have to spend any time in actually cleaning after yourself. Something that I try to do is to record the video that I want to do and then maybe sit down, do a quick edit and then go back clean. And then before I finish up the video, I actually make sure that everything is in place so that I can just move on to the next project as soon as I'm done with the edit of that project. Planning stuff out is something that will help you achieving the long-term goals, the short-term goals, and being structured and productive in a very neatly manner, but it's also something that requires practice. And to be able to practice that, you gotta have the motivation to do it. And motivation is something that will not just come to you from the clear blue sky. It's something that you have to motivate yourself to do. I can just take an example of yesterday when I went to the gym, I had leg day and I really, really didn't want to go to the gym. I had absolutely zero motivation, but I went there anyways and it felt good once I was done. So you are your biggest motivator and being able to push that into your work space and motivate yourself to do stuff that might be tedious, boring, stuff like that is gonna give you so much in the long run and this requires practice. Again, not something that is gonna come just like that. Something I personally tried is to write things down into a book and I think I managed to do that for like two weeks until I suddenly just fell off the grid and stopped writing. Mainly because I, I don't like writing and I don't like writing things down and I don't like using apps either. I tried it, it's not for me. You know, I tried buying the best checklist app and writing everything down that I want to do in a day. But as soon as I forgot that for like two, three days, I started feeling bad about actually not doing the things that I set up for myself to do. And I deleted the app and then all of a sudden felt a lot better. And something that I do instead of writing things down or using an app is actually vlogging on my second channel because I think that that drives me to constantly push myself forward using my camera and get better at my skill and remembering things that I was thinking that day. Then I always have a camera accessible and then I can record myself, talk to the camera and say what I wanna do. Just the same thing as people are using voice memos. I'm just doing it in a video format. And even though these things might be very cliche or very easy to do, they are actually things that work for me. I'm not saying that everything is gonna work for you, but maybe you can apply some of it to your own workflow and see if you can get something out of that. And testing things to see what works the best for you is always gonna be the best way forward to maintain your own productivity. Again, if you wanna see more of uh, what I'm doing on a daily basis when I'm not posting videos here, then I do have my daily vlogs that you can check out on my vlog channel down below. And uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to know what are the things that you think are the best for being productive and actually staying productive. Do drop a comment. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.